Okay, so lately I've been searching for an all-in-one editing software, a software I can do all my basic editing, but also any skin retouching, and I think I found it. Avoto AI is a super powerful photo editing software that uses AI to insanely speed up your editing workflow. It's packed with a ton of amazing features, and we're gonna unpack all of these features in today's video. As a portrait photographer, the majority of my time is spent in the editing process, removing pimples, blemishes, but also skin retouching. For years, I was using Photoshop to retouch skin because that was the only software available to us that was capable of doing this. And for my portrait and fashion photographers who have been retouching skin, you know just how time consuming this process typically is, usually ranging anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour per photo. And that's per photo because you have to do each one separately. But what if I told you that you can remove pimples, smooth in skin, skin retouch, do all your basic adjustments, and complete a gallery of 100 photos in less than five minutes with a Voto AI. So let me show you just how powerful this software is and some of its amazing features. When you first open Evoto AI, you'll notice it's pretty straightforward. Just drag and drop your photos in and it'll automatically create a project. Every project you create will stay on your homepage here, which I really like because I can access the photos from any shoot, any session, at any time without searching through all of my files. You can also add photos to your project at any time by clicking this plus button right up here. The first thing you'll notice are the presets to the left of your photo. This is where you'll find a Avoto's recommended presets, as well as your own presets when you create some. Avoto's presets work pretty good if you want a good result quick. Maybe you're trying to meet a deadline or something like that. These are perfect. But personally, I like to edit photos myself to have a little bit more control. So we'll quickly jump into editing a portrait here and show you how all these sliders work together to give you the perfect image. In the first tab, you have all of your basic adjustments, your white balance, exposure, you have curves, HSL, you even have color calibration. I'll just make some basic adjustments. Perfect. But the real power of this program is once you step out of this basic tab, Okay, so now that we have a look that we like, we're gonna go into our portrait retouching tab here. And this is where we can make all of our skin retouching adjustments. So as you can see, a photo automatically detected whether our subject was a male, female, kid, or even senior. And all these adjustments below are tailored or different for each type of person. So we have things like face freckle and acne removal, dark circles reduction for the things or the dark circles around our eyes, magic face and skin, which is basically like dodging and burning, face and body smoothing. They even have a slider for reducing the folds or the creases from your smile, like these things. Scrolling further, we even have more like face reshaping, body reshaping. You can literally change the arc of someone's eyebrows, the bridge of their nose, literally everything. So the first thing I'll do is zoom in here and you can tell that we have a little bit of, I don't even know what to call these. They're not defects, there's nothing wrong with them. Maybe just little pimples or I, I don't even know what these are called, but we'll use our face freckle and acne removal tool just to get rid of these marks right around here. All we have to do is drag the slider up and you can tell that they're instantly gone. There's no spot healing or anything we have to do. They're instantly gone just by sliding that slider. We'll also go down to our skin retouching tab here. We're gonna drag up magic face skin dodge and burn. And this is basically gonna do the dodge and burning process. And you can tell that this transition of color right here, I don't know, it might be hard to tell, but if we drag our dodge and burn slider, you can tell that it instantly creates that transition and it's, it's a perfect transition. So this is exactly what you would do in the dodging and burning process. And again, this takes care of that using one slider. Now, just below that, we have face, skin, and smoothing. Again, you drag that up and it automatically smooth in skin. Now, this might be too much, but you can play around with these sliders however you want. I would probably go somewhere around 30, just because I still want it to look realistic. 
So if we take a look at the before and now the after by using this little button right here, you can see that there's a huge difference. If we zoom into her cheek here and look at the skin retouching and the work we've done so far, before, there's a little bit of pimples here, after, they're all gone. Now, like I said, you also have other adjustments like face reshaping and body reshaping. So if you go into face reshaping here and we click on face shape, we can adjust things like her jaw. We can adjust her cheekbones. You can even go into eyebrows and like I said, adjust the arc of someone's eyebrows. And it actually does an amazing job at trying to sample the skin so it can like repair that spot the eyebrow was. So if we take a look here, it's just crazy. This is so powerful. Now just above that, you may have noticed this tool called Skin Color. And when I first downloaded and started using Avoto, I was trying to figure out what the purpose of this tool was. Because I've never seen this in any other app, but it actually has come in use just recently. This is how I used it. We obviously have a model with a darker skin color here, but let's say my camera didn't accurately capture those colors or capture that skin tone the way I remember it or the way it actually is. We can go into skin color here and choose the closest accurate color. So somewhere around here, and we can actually adjust the amount to make it perfect. And we can also go in and adjust the skin temperature, make it cooler or make it warmer. We're just gonna leave it just like that. And it looks a little bit more accurate to what I remember. And there you go, that's how I would edit this photo. If I wasn't making this video and I was just editing, this would take me 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Let's go into our next photo here. This was from a fashion shoot I did and I chose this photo because I wanted to show you another powerful tool built into a photo AI. So we have this clean white backdrop, but let's say we wanted to change it to a different color. Typically we'd have to select our subject, go through all this work to make sure the mask is perfect. Maybe go around the mask with an eraser tool to get rid of the things it missed. But with a photo AI, it's just as simple as clicking a few buttons. We'll go over to our background adjustments here and click on Headshot Backdrop Changer. It automatically detected where our subject is and what our background is using AI. And all you have to do is click on a new backdrop. So if we want to change it to red, we can click on red, it automatically changes it. If you want blue, we can switch it to blue. We can also click see all and they have a bunch of different ones. They even have some with like a gradient on them. You know, some of them are really cool to play around with and try out different ones. And if you wanted to use the same adjustments for the other photos from this shoot, all you have to do is click our other photos here or select our other photos. You can do this one or two ways. You can save a preset or you can just click sync. Choose the adjustments that you want to sync and then just click the yellow button. And you can see that automatically it applied the black background to all three of our photos. You could also sync and create presets with your retouching adjustments. So let's say we really like the retouching we did on this photo and we want to apply it to our other photo. All we have to do is click on save preset and we'll name this a photo test. We'll put it in a group that I made SL here and we're only going to select the adjustments we want to save with that preset. So we're just going to choose portrait retouching. You can also go into the drop down here and select which ones or which sections within our portrait retouching we want to save to the preset. So we're just going to leave it how it is and click on save. Now, if we go to our other photo, scroll down on our presets here, you'll see a photo test, the one we just made. And before we apply it, you can see that this photo is the same thing. We have some little pimples here and we can really use some skin retouching. We'll click on our preset here and automatically you'll see that the photo is retouched. Our face freckle and acne removal adjustment has been applied. The same thing with our dodging and burning. Basically everything that we applied to the other photo has been applied to this photo. And I can actually see that the skin color adjustment has been applied. So we're actually gonna remove that. And there you go, we have a perfectly retouched photo in literally just a click of a button. Let's actually just brighten up this photo real quick because it might be hard to see. Go back to our retouching and there you go. Before, 
and now after. Now just picture how powerful this tool could be in your editing workflow. You're editing 100 photos, 1,000 photos, and you're able to sync all your retouching adjustments with just one click of a button to all your photos or create a preset with your retouching adjustments on there and being able to use them with just a click of a button. How much easier would editing be for you? Once you're done, exporting is super easy. Just select all of your photos and click export at the top. Now here's where a photo is really different from the others. With a photo, every photo you export counts as a credit or a credit used. Your monthly subscription to this software is based off the amount of credits you'll use in a month or a year. And they have a range of different plans for the amount you use. It works out to be around six cents per photo on the cheaper plan and four cents a photo on the more expensive plans. They also have a rollover program that any unused credits will automatically roll over to the next month. Now, if you're a portrait or wedding photographer or even a professional retoucher, a photo is worth it for the amount of time you save. Instead of shooting two weddings a month and have a backlog of editing you still have to get to, you can shoot one or two weddings every weekend and have the photos done in like two days. So if you're a professional photographer or a professional retoucher, you need to try out a photo AI. Just the fact that you can batch edit photos with every adjustment is just game changing. Also, the fact that you have full control over every single facial feature is crazy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out Avoto AI. Link is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one.